Written by Natalie Tuck the 18th of May 25 Pensions Europe has welcomed the European Commission's latest legislative proposals for the implementation of its action plan on sustainable finance. Yesterday, the 24th of May, the European Commission published three legislative proposals as part of its commitment to become a global leader in the fight against climate change. For example, it has proposed to establish a classification system for environmentally sustainable economic activities. The proposal sets harmonized criteria for determining whether an economic activity is environmentally sustainable. Step by step, the Commission will identify activities which qualify as sustainable, taking into account existing market practices and initiatives and drawing on the advice of a technical expert group that is currently being set up. This should provide economic actors and investors with clarity on which activities are considered sustainable so they take more informed decisions, the Commission said. It has also proposed to introduce investors' disclosures on sustainable investments and sustainability risks. It aims to introduce consistency and clarity on how institutional investors, such as asset managers, insurance companies, pension funds, or investment advisors should integrate environmental, social and governance ESG factors in their investment decision-making process. The Commission said exact requirements will be further specified through delegated acts which will be adopted by the Commission at a later stage. The final proposal is for a regulation amending the benchmark regulation. The proposed amendment will create a new category of benchmarks comprising low-carbon and positive-carbon impact benchmarks, with the aim to provide investors with better information on the carbon footprint of their investments. Following the announcement, Pensions Europe said they are an important milestone in delivering the action plan on sustainable growth. Pensions Europe Secretary General CEO Madi Lapala said, Today's measures are an important step towards creating clarity on which investments can be considered environmentally sustainable. Pension funds will be able to better understand and measure how green assets and funds are, which helps to improve their communication with members and beneficiaries. At the same time, the European Commission wants to grant itself the power to specify in detail the existing ESG provisions in the IORP2 directive through a so-called Delegated Act. Pension funds have not yet been subject to such a level of prescriptiveness. We have always believed national supervisors are best equipped to oversee how pension funds manage ESG risks in order to take account of local governance structures and sustainability preferences.